So I'm usually a pretty big wuss when it comes to horror movies, but I know there's a lot of great films in this genre, so I'm trying to be brave and watch some of them, and especially foreign horror movies I haven't seen a ton of, so I'm trying to watch more of those. So today I'm watching the 1977 film House. I believe it's a Japanese film, but that's all I know about it. I don't know the cast. I don't know the plot. I don't know anything like that. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for horror movies you think I should watch, please comment below and if you want to have a say in what movies or tv shows i watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content i love that it's so abstract oh my oh my just chopped off his own hand you hear go Yeah, like the delayed exposure. Hmm. Is that what she is? Is she gonna be a witch in a horror movie? Oh my, is that foreshadow? <laughs> She's like, no, no, it's an arranged marriage. Oh my. Yeah, something seems, it seems very like an interesting intro for a horror movie. Everything seems happy and, which is like, that's not uncommon in horror movies. Usually the happiest part of the movie is the start, but like something just feels off and like, yeah, it seems too happy. <laughs> Which is making me think that it's gonna be insane and that things are gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> they were never seen again. Yeah, and the way she's like walking through these like distorted window frames, we only see her like in fragments. Is her name actually gorgeous? I haven't heard her a different character name yet. And even this scene here looks like a postcard. I was gonna say, is this dad's new uh, lady friend? Yeah, okay, so they're gonna get married, I'm guessing. Yeah, it feels very surreal, and yeah, the way they're like transitioning between other scenes. The foreign horror movies that I have seen have been very dark and twisted, so I'm nervous to see where this is gonna go, especially with such like a... Everything's very soft and dreamlike, so... Which makes me think it's gonna just do the complete 180 as we get to the end of the film. <laughs> Yeah, she obviously doesn't seem happy with this new uh, stepmother situation. I hope it doesn't end up like The Lodge, where she just gaslights this poor lady and does horrible, horrible things. And all their names were like fantasy, sweet, like gorgeous. If, I, again, I'm assuming those are nicknames, but... <laughs> That's bad news. So he's canceling the trip, I'm guessing. The darn cat. Okay, so she's yeah invited everybody to her aunt's house since their other trip was canceled, and she has only met her aunt once. So, mm-hmm. It feels like a soap opera, and even the way that, yeah, they filmed that through, like, that window pane. Good morning. By nobody the soundtrack's definitely been interesting. This very, like, upbeat, like, happy music. Oh, that darn cat! <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this? The bucket's stuck! By I definitely haven't seen anything like this, and I I was expecting something very dark, because that's been my experience with other uh, foreign horror movies, but we, maybe we'll get there, I don't know. <laughs> Few of my favorite things. <laughs> that guy was reading a horror magazine, okay. 
I wonder if this will be a film you have to like watch again to like get all the pieces that you missed. And having this like animated background overlaid with like the actual image of the background. Yeah, it almost feels like they're actually watching this film strip in real time and like giving comments on it. Oh no! And yeah, there's the cat on the bus and they have like same cat that looks like her aunt has. It almost feels like it should be a music video or something. And even this is like slightly tilted. Yeah, everything's slightly off. Yeah, and these like vignettes. Just highlighting all the characters and their names. Clearly, if you're talking to a watermelon, you know, something, it's been a while since you've had some company. That's a spooky looking house. Oh man, all the vines and everything. Wow, what was that? Okay, that's terrifying. <laughs> what? The cat's eyes just glowed and like flicked their camera? <laughs> The chandelier is attacking? What? <laughs> Cats, I gotta clean this up for you, don't worry. What the heck was that? These like twinkly little slights? <laughs> that sounded menacing. Oh my gosh. She's like, I'm so glad to have visitors. Mm -hmm. Suspicious. Is the cat the villain? I don't know. There seems to be like something's going on with this cat. It's definitely been like a slow burn, but I'm curious to see what's gonna what's gonna happen. Everything is like voice controlled. Like she turned on the chandelier with her sound of her voice, and now she just like jiggled the stove with her voice. What's in the fridge? Oh god, something spooky's in the fridge. <laughs> I don't trust it. It's not as sweet as it seems. <laughs> Stop! She said she looks tasty. Oh my! Is this gonna be like um, Hansel and Gretel? Is Grandma gonna put them in the oven and eat them? <laughs> yeah, like that looks like a painting. Like it's crazy. But I like the juxtaposition of having this beautiful background and something horrible going on, which I'm assuming is what's happening here. Ah. Uh... Oh god, and yeah, this trombone shot as we get her the watermelon out of the well. I feel like she just pulled out a head. I feel like there was hair on that thing. I saw dark watermelons aren't that- Yeah! Oh my god! And she's talking to it? What's happening? <laughs> Oh, her head's floating? What? Oh, she bit her butt. Well, hello. Oh my, it's getting spicy. What's happening here? Oh my god. Back in the well she goes. Poor Mac. She just wanted her watermelon. Yeah, and the ant's not wearing glasses anymore. Hmm. Suspicious. I feel like that fridge is full of humans' heads, and that's why she can't use it. You gave me energy, yeah, because she ate Mac. Oh my god. Ugh. That's my guess. Yeah, is that she's like, yes, come visit me. Yes.
What? Now they see the watermelon? What? 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 <laughs> Who eats a watermelon with a spoon? Come on. Oh, God, she had an eyeball. Ew. So bizarre. What is happening? I don't like creepy dolls. Oh, stay away, man. This is it. This will be the end of you. Oh, yeah, those little twinkles. Oh, the door closes. Yeah, my guess is like the ant is the villain. But I don't know why she would want to kill these girls off. Unless it somehow gives her strength or something. Whoa, the hair just came out of the bath. Oh my gosh. Oh god, oh! Attack of the fiery log. Oh, Kung Fu's got it. Yeah, it's hard to know what's real and what they're imagining. I don't know. Yeah, now she's not in her wheelchair. Like, she's up walking around. Mm, something's going on, man. Yeah, and she's like wiping her lips. I fully think she's eating these kids. And now, yeah, like, uh, the girls don't see the same things at the same time, which makes it harder to verify, obviously. And now she's breaking the fourth wall, so creepy. Yeah, dancing around with a skeleton, living her best life. Yes! This ant's a cannibal! She's just slowly eating- oh, and goldfish. <laughs> Even the cat gets his own solo, I love it. Maybe this isn't a movie where you're supposed to know what's happening because it's it's just banana sandwich. The framing in this has been so cool and just so well done. I love it when they take that extra step just to make it even more creative. <laughs> What is she seeing in this mirror? Come see me. Oh God, what is that teeth? She's vampire teeth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now the mirror is bleeding. What is happening? So bizarre. Yeah, I don't like this fragmented glass. Oh, what? So cool. Comment below if you know how- Oh my gosh, so she's on fire. What? Yeah, I'm very curious about how they did this in 1977. That's so cool. The body count's getting up there, but there hasn't been a ton of gore. Like the goriest thing we've seen was the- was Max head, but even that wasn't anything crazy. Yeah, like this twinkling is like signaling like attack go now. That's so cool. Oh my god. It's so trippy. Whew. She's gonna play the piano to death This is cat a witch they just said any witch cat can close the door. Oh god bonked her The only one making out of here is kung fu being attacked by this feather bed. Yeah, and that's crazy to have this shot like from underneath. It's definitely like disorientating and uncomfortable because you're like, what is happening? Like the shots are playing forward and back and forward and back. Yeah, it's almost like she's on a glass table or something and we're getting the view from below. Did the piano bite her? Oh god. That was crazy with all the different colors along the keys. 
Yeah, I feel like you're right about that. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. Something strange. Oh my gosh. She's like, yes. Oh, the teacher I have a crush on will come rescue me and then everything will be okay. <laughs> yeah, now they're all named for like what they seem to be most known for. Like the professor is prof and gorgeous is, you know, concerned more with like appearance and beauty and stuff like that. And that also seems to be how they're being killed off. Yeah, like she was looking in the mirror when something came after her. This old phone that has dust on it. And there's like people yelling for help on the other end. What? 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 <laughs> and even the way this is filmed is like slowed down and it's like it's a little hard to watch because it feels like it's lagging. <laughs> and yeah, and now the house is attacking them. Like shutting them in with all the windows and doors. Yeah, see you later. Bye. You're trapped now. I'm enjoying it. It's definitely weird, but yeah, I'm very curious like how this was received when it came out or anything like that. If how it was advertised, like what people were expecting when they went to see this. <laughs> Yeah, and I love the way that, like, there's a logical explanation for some things. Like, okay, well, she lives at home. Maybe she has, you know, the door set to close at a certain time. Just, like, cats everywhere. Oh, my gosh. I love cats, but this feels excessive. Oh, shit, the piano's got her again. Yeah, the piano's attacking her. Oh my god, that's crazy. Cat's like, yes, yes, get them. Oh my god, that's terrifying. And the skeleton in the background soon. Oh my god, she played her fingers off. Yep, just like that. Bloody nubs of fingers. Yep. <laughs> Woohoo, gross. <laughs> Well, now you have even less. Oh my god. That's so crazy. What is happening? What is this? The piano's eating her alive! She is one with the music now. Oh my god. Feet and all. Yeah, see you later. Oh, sending her back out. That would actually be terrifying. Whoa! Chop. See you later. Arms flying everywhere. Oh, the goldfish. <laughs> and so, like, yeah, just so many different colors and so many different things happening. <laughs> oh my, what's happening here? Yeah, and just like the oversaturated colors and the lightning streaks and her head floating above the piano and just definitely like a surreal trippy dream sequence whatever the frick that was house made she's in the clock what 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 oh my god and it's just like spinning blood <laughs> That's so creepy. Yeah. Oh my god. Just all the different colored blood going down the dials. Oh my god. That's that piano scene was probably my favorite of the movie so far, as weird as that may sound. And the fingers are just playing the music on their own now. Yeah, I'm very curious how they I'm assuming this was practical effects. I know there was some special effects with like the light and stuff. Oh! Well, like when you see in the cat's eyes and those flickers, but so cool. Deeply disturbing and very bizarre, but it's still really cool. Oh, it's a haunted house? Okay, I thought the ant was somehow involved. 
Welcome to my house. Hi, daddy. And just when I thought it couldn't get any weirder, we got a bear eating noodles. Like his life depends on it. And this song says, "Come to my house." <laughs> What? Her aunt died? What? Her aunt was a ghost? That's why she doesn't eat or anything? What? She eats all the unmarried girls. Oh my god, terrifying. Whoa, look at the house. She just wanted to get married so badly. Oh my god. Just let me eat you. Come on, stop fighting back. <laughs> oh, the cat's alive. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, and even the way they were like playing with perspective by having her head be giant coming into the frame. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, now they have to battle the ghosts of their dead friends. Oh my gosh. Terrifying. <laughs> what? He doesn't see the house? <laughs> oh my god, my eyes, my eyes! Oh my god! So much is happening right now! Kitty cat scratch! Red and blue and red and blue and quick zooms! You have to kill the cat! Oh god, no! I mean, it is probably very evil. Oh, the old lampshade on the head trick! Oh no! Oh, it's zapping her from the inside! Oh my god, that's so creepy! This is gonna make me not like cats. Just floating head in this like sea of blue other heads. Oh my. <laughs> Just these different body parts floating and these like beautifully illustrated but terrifying backgrounds. Oh, she still got her legs. Oh, Kung Fu chop from the lamp. Oh my God, they did it. They killed the cat. Okay, well, now they're making up for the blood. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cheese and crackers, yep. I'm reading their blood quota. Oh my gosh, just spewing endlessly. <laughs> oh, the floor is coming apart into this like river of blood. Terrifying. So cool though, so creative. Oh, see you later. What? They definitely saved like peak weird for this third act, man. Everything's insane. Hitting himself in the head saying bananas. <laughs> Oh, no, I got her. Oh, shoot, it's just you. Oh my God, he's wearing her glasses. <laughs> this is one disturbingly haunted house, man. Oh my God. I don't think anybody's making it out alive. Oh my. Moral of the story is make sure you're married before you visit your aunt and her creepy cat. <gasps> yeah, and having that change in the reflection of the mirror in the water, oh my god. <laughs> it's not her! It's not her! <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh my god, they're all doomed. This whole movie felt like one crazy acid trip. Like, this is nuts. And Togo turned into just a stunt bunch of bananas? Oh my god. Why 
why don't you move into this house? Cause it's haunted and it'll kill you slowly. <laughs> Oh my, this song's getting spicy. No, oh, she's gonna kill this lady. Oh, man. Yeah, she's gonna kill our future stepmother. Ha 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 ha. Oh god, then it's all gonna start over. I'm sure they will be. Good thing you're here to be a snack. Yeah, she's like, I don't want you to marry my dad, and this house loves unmarried women, so me and my evil cat will kill you. Ha ha ha! Scarf's on fire! See you later! She's like, my friends will be hungry when they wake up. Stronger now. I guess my life. Oh, yeah, just like that tongue from the giant house. Oh my gosh, so creepy. Lord, I, feel. What is this life? I really enjoyed it. It was super bizarre. So that was my first time watching the 1977 Japanese horror film House. I really enjoyed it. It was super bizarre and one I think I will rewatch, maybe not right away, but at a later point now that I know that the house is haunted and that's the theme that they were going for. Just so visually interesting. Definitely kept some of the weirder parts for the third act. It was more of a slow burn, but it wasn't like a four hour movie where you're like, okay, let's get to it already. They did a good job of, you know, setting up the pace. And I was very worried when we started off with this very like dreamlike state at the beginning, but it kept that throughout the entire movie. The whole movie is very abstract and dreamlike and surreal and you don't really know what's happening. And even when they explain, okay, it's a haunted house, you're like, okay, the house is eating people. And this aunt who Gorgeous had been estranged from and she's just so longing to be married. And then she, you know, the house eats unmarried women. Just really interesting concept. I haven't seen a ton of foreign horror movies, but this is definitely a different direction from the ones that I have seen. It almost felt like a David Lynch painting, like there was limbs flying everywhere and just the color palette was very intense with like high, you know, streaks of purple and red and green and just a total visual overload, but still well done. It didn't feel messy. It didn't feel like they were doing it just for the sake of being weird. It felt like they were doing it to make the audience uncomfortable and kind of have this really bizarre experience. And I like more psychological movies as opposed to just slasher films. So just really creative and just even the way they would frame the shots I thought were really cool and how they would transition some of the scenes. It felt like they really put a lot of time and effort into every single possible shot. And as we learn more about the ants backstory, we find out, you know, the town doesn't have any more young women in it. And I'm assuming that's because the house was slowly eating them all. We never found out how Gorgeous's mom died, but I don't know that that's relevant. I thought maybe it would tie into the house somehow, but if she was married, obviously that wouldn't have been someone they were going after. So yeah, I don't think that was really a huge plot line. I was just more curious as a viewer if that would have been relevant. I thought it was interesting the way they named their characters after something that seemed to be like what they were most known for. Like we saw Melody and the professor, obviously focusing on music and studies and Kung Fu being really into martial arts and gorgeous being focused on beauty and her looks and everything like that. So that was interesting. And I think it also showed like the relationship between the girls, how they had these nicknames for each other. And those names also played into how they were killed off as we saw Melody, you know, the piano attacked her. And I think that was probably one of my favorite scenes from the whole movie, as weird as that sounds. It was just so crazy and just you're what is going on? Her body slowly being eaten by the piano and there's parts everywhere. And, you know, the screen is flashing all these different colors and lightning bolts are coming in. I don't know if the director dabbles in certain substances, but it definitely felt like this was like a drug fueled, crazy, mind bending dream. But again, it felt well done and it felt like it was trying to take the audience into this bizarre, crazy world. And even the fact that one of the girls would see something and then the other one wouldn't. So it really just plays with the audience's perspective of reality and just like, okay, is something strange going on? Is it in their imagination? And even we have a character named Fantasy who daydreams constantly. So you're like, okay, who's who's 
reliable in this store? Who can we talk to? And then obviously we find out that the aunt is in fact a ghost as well, which Gorgeous wouldn't know. She was estranged from her aunt. She said she only met her once and, you know, we don't see her eating or anything and she kind of disappears for a while and it seemed like she was getting stronger from the girls like eating them somehow. Like that's my perception of it. I feel like there's a lot of ways you can interpret this movie, which I love. I love movies that have lots of layers and lots of things to analyze. So the way that the aunt, you know, she took off her glasses when Mac was killed and then she starts walking again when one of the other girls goes missing and seems to be getting stronger and we see her dancing around and just the comparison from when she's, you know, kind of this frail older woman in her wheelchair when they first show up. So that's how I'm interpreting it anyways. She was getting her strength from these girls and the house, even we have that scene, like the animated sequence of the house growing taller and taller and the effects were so cool. Comment below if you know how they did them. I definitely feel like there was some stop motion scenes in this and given the time, I'm very curious to find out how they did the effects. I love practical effects and I feel like there was a ton of practical effects in here when we have the fingers uh, from Melody just playing the piano on their own. I'm guessing those were just on some kind of string or wire or something like that, but I love practical effects. I think you have to be just so creative, not that CGI isn't creative, but I love learning all the behind the scenes trivia and you know how they made certain shots happen and even at the end we have the floor of the room completely separate and they're floating in like this sea of blood and just insane like it went from like zero to you know 360 in four seconds basically it went from this like very dreamlike state to still a very dreamlike state but just like a darker version of your dream like zooming in and out super fast on this cat painting that's puking out blood and even the effects where we seem to have like the signal for when the weird stuff is gonna happen, like the cat's eyes twinkle, and we even saw that same like green twinkle in Gorgeous's eyes at the end. She's like, oh, my friends are sleeping, but they'll be hungry soon when they wake up. Like the house is just getting stronger and stronger, fueling off of all of these girls. So yeah, comment below if you know how they made any of those where they were all practical, if it was somehow computer generated, I, I'm not too sure, but yeah, comment below and let me know. Or if they like altered the film stock or something, or maybe it was like in the development process of the film, if they just used different chemicals to get different colors. Uh, I love all that stuff. So like I said, yeah, comment below and let me know if you know any of that behind the scenes stuff. Definitely not a typical horror movie, but I really enjoyed it. This haunted house concept isn't something new to the horror genre. We've seen that tons and tons of times before, but I really like this unique spin on it. You're kind of wondering the whole time, like, is this a dream? Honestly, I was thinking, okay, maybe at the end of this, are we gonna find out this entire trip has been a dream and Gorgeous is gonna wake up at home or something? like that like the viewer is really just transported into this abstract surreal world and some of it's horrifying but it also felt like comedic in some ways like I don't know if that's weird to say I didn't find this movie scary it was just more bizarre and I almost want to say like it was fun like I, that's probably a really weird way to describe this even when we have the girls being attacked it's just in like such an over-the-top crazy way that you're just like okay what is happening and how the piano is literally attacking her and the mirror is attacking her and instead of a watermelon coming out of the well you know it's a girl's head and the ant is getting in the fridge like just every possible situation that they could make it feel bizarre they definitely added those things in and they didn't really explain it until we find out that it is in fact a haunted house I wasn't expecting the aunt to be a ghost I wasn't sure what she was I figured she wasn't human but I wasn't sure what kind of creature she would be maybe a witch or something like that they had alluded to a witch a few times even with a the cat they're like oh a regular cat can open a door but only a witch cat can close the door and then we see the door close of course and even when they're on the train to Gorgeous's aunt's house, they see this book that's like horror movies and the book is very much like placed on a seat, you know, at the bottom of the frame, but you can still see it. And I love those subtle nods to the audience of like, okay, this is a horror movie. Like don't get caught up in this like soft dreamy world. Like things are gonna get bizarre, which we definitely saw. I was kind of expecting a sharp turn around like the second act where we would go from this really bright, soft, dreamy world to like black and white or something like that 
that or just, you know, something totally to contrast, you know, the happy beginning of the movie, which in horror movies, the happiest part of the movie is the beginning and then things go very downhill. But they definitely kept up the very like oversaturated color palette throughout the entire movie. Like some of the shots look like paintings or a postcard or something like that. Like it just looked so beautiful. It almost makes you suspicious. You're like, what is going on here? Something, something's not right. I really like the way they used editing and different film techniques to help tell the story and again another way just to make the audience feel uncomfortable and like what's going on something's not right something's distorted like this shouldn't be happening how we had some of the scenes uh, I thought the video was lagging almost because it was just playing slowly but that was done intentionally and how we'd have like a slow dissolve over one frame or one frame stopped completely and then another frame happening alongside it like almost like a double exposure or something just really cool and I'd love to learn more about that especially because I'm considering this would have been shot on film as it was 1977 and all these like characters vignettes how we'd have a wide shot of everybody walking and then it would cut to you know a vignette of a certain character and we saw when the girls were crossing the bridge on their way to the aunt's house and they have the you know character's name come up and everybody gets their own little moment just so interesting definitely a very abstract and experimental type of movie but I love weird movies so this was perfect for me I'm curious how this did at the box office like I said I'm fairly new to foreign movies especially foreign horror movies so I'm curious how this was perceived in you know Know, Japanese cinema if it was completely rejected if they were like what the heck is this or if it was celebrated I don't know what the budget or anything like that was so comment below and let me know I'd be curious to see if someone would have tried to take this style of movie and make it today I don't know how well it would be received if it would just be like completely bizarre and no one would be interested in watching it. I'm not sure if there are sequels or remakes or anything like that, so comment below and let me know. And I think an interesting idea, I'm assuming it was an original screenplay. Again, the haunted house idea isn't anything groundbreaking, but just the way they chose to tell that story, I think is what makes it so special and so unique. I love it when they juxtapose like a really, you know, upbeat soundtrack or really soft music in the background and then something horrible is happening. And there was like just soft music through throughout the entire movie and we had a few songs where the word house was in it which I thought was great considering the name of the movie is also house and just the way they like played up this very dream like state and everything is you know soft and flowing in the background and some of it honestly felt like a soap opera like the beginning scenes where we have gorgeous and her dad talking like it felt like this like over the top melodrama and they're just you know talking about their vacation coming up but I love the idea of pairing like a horror movie with just this you know incredible Incredibly soft music. We're used to seeing horror movies where like the music is part of the story and tells, you know, the story and sets up tension along with the visuals and that they kind of match. This they definitely were opposites, which again just fuels the creativity behind this film. I love the mix of film and animation or hand-drawn scenes behind them. When we had that like spinning head and like those blue faces all behind them, and even on the train, it looked like they took um, a shot of an animation animated or hand-drawn image and then overlaid it with the actual like footage of a train going by or like the background and stuff so really cool and just another way the audience is transported into something we're not used to seeing like we're used to either watching you know all animated or all live action and just another way of adding another creative element to this film and taking the audience into something where we're questioning is this real what's going on like usually animated sequences are you know dreams or flashbacks or something like that and we definitely saw more of them in the third act when everything was kind of just going insane and it was like they took all the rules whatever few rules they had been abiding by and threw them out the window and just said go crazy I don't even want to know how many cuts it was just so visually overwhelming I felt like there was a cut like every second basically it was like just overstimulating and just so confusing like what's going on but I think that was trying to capture the sense of the girls their situation and they're trying to figure out what's happening and the house just completely going Going insane and attacking them all. I love how they went completely full circle and we end the movie with Gorgeous in, you know, a very traditional Japanese outfit, welcoming her, what would have been her future stepmother to this house. And she's like, you know, come on in. And the way that Gorgeous is now going to, you know, take over the role of her aunt basically and live in this house and with her friends and be a ghost and, you know, take in other women and just continue the cycle of feeding the house. And we see your first target 
is that future stepmother character. And when it first started, I was thinking, okay, maybe Gorgeous is going to be, you know, the villain. Maybe she's going to plot something horrible against her stepmother, which we do see happening uh, at the end of the film. But that wasn't her goal starting out. She wanted to avoid spending time with this lady. She didn't go on vacation with her dad like she was planning. She's like, you know what? I don't want to be involved in this. I'm going to go hang out with my friends instead. And it ends up working out to her advantage and inadvertently, you know, getting herself and her friends killed at the same time. And then she has, you know, these ghost powers and, and now she's stuck in this haunted house for the rest of her life. And the stepmother's like, you know what? I'm going to go visit. I'm, we need to spend some time one-on-one. -on -one. I like, I want to build this relationship. And it ends up obviously being a huge trap. And it was just such a clever way of ending it. And just, I think, to nod to the audience of like, we know something she doesn't know. This lady doesn't know that it's a trap, obviously. Overall, I really enjoyed it. This abstract, very trippy, like intense color saturation, dream-like state of this movie and this haunted house and these girls slowly being killed off by this house. I didn't recognize the director's name, so comment below. Did they do other films? Was this what they're most known for? I love weird movies and this was definitely so weird, but I still really enjoyed it. And I think there's lots of ways you can interpret this film, but I really enjoyed it. And I'm so glad I finally watched it. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. It feels like a soap opera. Clearly, if you're talking to a watermelon. What? The cat's eyes just glowed and like flicked their camera. Get her the watermelon out of the well. Yeah, and she's like wiping her lips. I fully think she's eating these kids. The only one making out of here is Kung Fu. And this old phone that has dust on it. And there's like people yelling, colored blood going down the dials, hitting himself in the head saying bananas.